Okay, let's get to know Reuniclus. Reuniclus is a pure psychic type in the fully evolved form of Solosis. Reuniclus has one of the strangest designs by far. Reuniclus and the rest of its evolutionary line are a reference to cells. It's also a reference to an embryo developing inside the womb, becoming a fully developed fetus, and the green jelly may represent the amniotic fluid. While it could use its psychic abilities in battle, this Pokemon prefers to swing its powerful arms and beat its opponents into submission. Their arms are powerful enough to crush boulders. It is said that if you drink the liquid surrounding Reuniclus, it'll grant you wisdom. Problem is, the liquid is highly toxic to anyone besides Reuniclus. Reuniclus' name is a combination of Reunite, Unique, and Homunculus, or Nucleus. Reuniclus debuted in the movie White, Victini and Zekrom, under the ownership of Damon. Reuniclus and its evolutionary family are the only Pokemon that can learn Thunder, but not Thunderbolt. Weird. Here's the shiny form. Like and follow! Okay, let's get to know Weezing. Weezing is a pure poison type in the evolved form of coughing. In the Galar region, Weezing are poison and fairy type. This Pokemon lives and grows by absorbing dust, germs, and poison gases that are contained in toxic waste and garbage. This Pokemon will find a dirty house and make it its home. At night, when the people in the house are sleeping, it will go through the trash. I'm the trash man! In the original red and blue beta, Weezing was originally known as LA because Los Angeles is very polluted. Weezing makes an appearance in Super Smash Bros. Melee as a Pokeball Pokemon that will emit poison gas and juggle the opponents who come near it. Weezing also appears as a float in the Poke Float stage. Weezing may be based on the imagined fear that heavy pollution caused by leakage and our improper disposal of toxic and radioactive waste may result in the creation of new and undesirable life forms. But the most famous Weezing in the anime is not undesirable. James's Weezing debuted in episode 31, Dig Those Diglet. Weezing spent 279 episodes in James's party, longer than any of his other Pokemon. Here's the shiny form. Like and follow. Okay, let's get to know Galarian Weezing. Galarian Weezing is a poison fairy type Pokemon and evolves from coughing at level 35. Long ago, during a time when droves of factories fouled the air with air pollution, Weezing changed into this form for some reason. No other Pokemon have the same type combination as Galarian Weezing. Weezing is also the only poison type Pokemon that is immune to dragon type moves. Weezing consumes particles of the polluted air and expels clean air instead. Weezing preys upon Trubbish for the fumes it produces. And then, I start eating garbage! Weezing appears to be based on the appearance of a stereotypical Victorian-era British gentleman wearing a chimney hat that are actually chimneys. Galarian Weezing is the only Pokemon capable of learning the move Strange Dream. Weezing can learn four moves that will cause its destruction, Self-Destruct, Explosion, Memento, and Misty Explosion. A chimney shaped like Galarian Weezing can be seen in Jubilife Village in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The only way for Galarian Weezing to know the move Zap Cannon is to teach it to a coughing in Generation 2 and transfer it to Sword and Shield. Here's the shiny form. Like and follow. Okay, let's get to know Eternatus. Eternatus is a poison dragon legendary Pokemon known in the Gala region. Eternatus is an extraterrestrial Pokemon that came to Earth inside a meteor around 20,000 years ago. Its body has a vaguely draconic shape and a skeletal appearance. If Eternatus absorbs a massive amount of energy at once, it will enter its Eternamax form which is said to be its true appearance. Eternatus will also briefly enter this form when using its signature move, Eterna Beam. Its entire body becomes a massive coil. Eternatus' head takes on the form of a giant hand. This form cannot be acquired legitimately in-game. Eternatus is the source of the Dynamax and Gigantamax phenomena. In the anime, Ash and Go defeated Eternatus and they threw one of Go's Pokeballs at it together and caught it. After it was captured, Eternatus' Pokeball was subsequently sealed away in a safe by Professor Magnolia, making Eternatus the first legendary Pokemon owned by a main character in the anime. Eternatus is the only Poison-type legendary Pokemon. If you exclude Arceus, here's the shiny form. Like and follow- Okay, let's get to know Durant. Durant is a Bug-Steel Pokemon introduced in Generation 5, Black and White. Durant is based on an ant. Its name is a combination of Durable and Ant. Durant are prey for Heatmore. Individuals each play different roles in driving Heatmore, their natural predator, away from their colony. They attack in groups, covering themselves in steel armor to protect themselves from Heatmore. Durant supposedly developed their metal armor to resist Heatmore's attacks, but due to the steel type's weakness to fire type attack, the Durant have instead made themselves more vulnerable, four times weak to fire. Durant and Heatmore have the same leveling rate, catch rate, hatch time, base experience yield, and total base stat. In the Gala region, their eggs are the main food source for Sandaconda. They work together to protect their eggs. Durant and its ability Hustle pair really well with Dynamax, and even carried it to new heights in VGC 2020. Go has also captured a Durant in the anime. Durant may be the only Pokemon where you have to Google Durant Pokemon, because if you Google just Durant, well, you won't find it that quickly. 
Here's the shiny form. Like and follow. Okay, let's get to know Lugia. Lugia is a psychic flying legendary Pokemon known in the Johto region. It is the mascot of Pokemon Silver. It's remake Pokemon Soul Silver, as well as Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Often referred to as the Guardian of the Seas, it has the impressive ability to control the wind. Lugia typically spends its time quietly at the bottom of the ocean. Lugia was created by Takeshi Shudo, the chief writer of the original anime series. This makes Lugia the only Pokemon not created by a member of Game Freak. Lugia's signature move is Aeroblast, which is a base 100 power special flying attack that has a high crit chance, and it was the only flying move introduced in Generation 2. Lugia debuted in Pokemon the Movie 2000, The Power of One. Lugia is the trio master of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Though its gender is unknown, a young Lugia has been observed, suggesting there is a breeding population. Lugia has been shown to be fiercely protective of its young. Despite not being a water type, Lugia has occasionally been depicted as a water type in the trading card game. Lugia has been a Pokeball Pokemon in every Smash Bros since Melee. Here's the shiny form. Like and follow.